I've just come out of a long meeting in the House of Commons launching this report about the impact of the abolition of the Independent Living Fund, which happened last year. The Greens were fighting uh, the government's moves to get rid of the Independent Living Fund, which helps disabled people provided care for them. We lost that battle, but we're now continuing for its reinstatement. We're also fighting to get the money that's been given to local authorities to slightly replace the Independent Living Fund, to be ring-fenced, because at the moment local authorities aren't spending it on disabled people. And we heard story after story after story how local authorities, as a result, are cutting the help that they've been given disabled people. For example, some having to spend hours and hours in bed, line up cups of water, five or six cups of water beside their bed because they know they're going to be that long until they have a carer to come and help them up. Other people telling us that they now have been told to use continence pads because there aren't carers to come in and take people and support them to go to the toilet. This is a violation of human rights. It's, it's disgrading and it's disgusting. We're fighting it all the way. The fight now continues uh, and we made actually a significant breakthrough. John McDonnell came into the meeting very late on uh, and I was able to challenge him and urge him to write to Labour councils to urge them to ring fence the funding that should be going to disabled people. He agreed, he said he'll do it immediately, so that's another green win for the Green Party. You know what you're going to get, and we will continue fighting for the reinstatement of the Independent Living Fund.